How's it going? Dr. Joshua Wiederman here with McAndrews Chiropractic Clinic in Wheaton. Today I'm going to talk about hip range of motion and pain self-assessment. So first of all, when we're talking about the hip, the hip joint itself or hip muscles, etc., can cause pain into the groin, into the side of the hip, or into the buttock. It's always important to rule out the lower back as a cause of hip pain as well. Now, hip assessment, I'm going to start laying on my back. Here we go. So I'm going to bring my knee to my chest, and I'm going to use my hand to pull a little bit further to provide an overpressure. And I'm assessing if there's pain or a lack of range of motion, and comparing side to side. Then I'm going to look at my Faber external rotation, flexion, and abduction. I'm going to provide an overpressure. Then I'm going to look at abduction on my side. raising my hip up, and I would assess the other side as well, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to move right to extension. And I'm just looking what that range of motion looks like, and if there's any pain with it. Have fun. 